are at the town of Kourou, K-O-U-R-O-U, which is about 60 kilometers uh, northwest of the city of Cayenne. And behind me, the Atlantic Ocean, uh, with it, three little islands that are sitting out there. They're kind of in the mist right now, but they are out there, three of them. And the furthest out, the smallest of the three, is a very famous island. Uh, that is Devil's Island, L'Ile du Diable. And that's, of course, where the famous Papillon adventure took place, if you saw that movie or read that book. And I'm sure that Monsieur Papillon would love to have been able to come over here to the mainland. Eventually, he did, of course. So that's Devil's Island behind it behind us and what I hope to do next then is to take a boat out there and actually see the island. This is a signal tower on the mainland named after one of Devil Island's more famous inmates, Alfred Dreyfus, wrongly condemned of treason. I was finally able to find a boat to take me out to Devil's Island, but oh my, was it a rough ride. The boat was tossed up and down by the big waves, and there were several sick people on board, including this poor lady, who had to hand her baby over to the local gendarme to care for. And I have arrived. This is Devil's Island. In French Guiana, or off the coast of French Guiana, it was over an hour's trip, very rough ride, as you could have seen in those last pictures, across from Kourou on the mainland of South America to these islands. There are three of them. And uh, when you consider all the work that the prisoners did on this island by hand, they were master wall builders, obviously, but a sad place, nevertheless. Uh, I'm taking it very, very slowly. It is so hot here, and this is the way it is 365 days a year, uh, that to work under these conditions must have been awful. Uh, you can hear the amount of insects in the air, I'm sure, around you. Let's take a look at some of the other parts of the island. Devil's Island, eight miles out to sea from French Guiana, was the center of the French penitentiary system during the 19th and first half of the 20th century. It was a brutal place in a brutal climate, run by often sadistic and over-alcoholed guards. The prisoners were assigned to forced hard labor in sweltering heat and humidity. Of the 80,000 prisoners assigned here, only 30,000 ever survived but even they were not allowed to return to France. Facing Kourou is the opposite of the Dreyfus Tower. Using these towers, the French were able to communicate between the island and the mainland. As I walked along the stone roads of the island, which the prisoners had built, I came across the local cemetery. There should have been hundreds, no, thousands of graves here, but there are not. Only the graves of the guards and their families. Where were the prisoners' graves? Well, they were not buried. Their bodies were taken offshore and fed to the sharks. gates that uh, many prisoners wish that they had never come because once inside 
They were there for a long time here on Devil's Island. It wasn't for minor cases that you were sent to Devil's Island. It was for something serious this far away from France. Scary place. Here's the only other bather I saw. He's in the guard pool, protected from the sharks by the rocks. Since Devil's Island is only three degrees from the equator, the rains here are torrential and often. Along with several French tourists, I was forced to seek shelter in some abandoned cells. So, I guess that means I was a prisoner, at least for about an hour, on Devil's Island. History will remember three famous inmates of Devil's Island. Henri Charrière, known as Papillon, accused murderer, Captain Alfred Dreyfus, accused traitor, and Guillaume Sesnick, accused murderer. You talk about isolation. Oh my goodness. I would not want to be locked up in this isolation place in the middle of a jungle. A little bit of room to breathe, but uh, oh, this would be awful. My goodness, what a horrible place. And it's so hot, sticky, and moist here. Whew. 